More and more people these days are asking the question, what is Planet X? A quick answer to that is that it is not Planet Nine, but rather, Planet X is a synonym for other historical names, including Nibiru, Nemesis, Hercobalus, Destroyer, Frightener, Red Planet, and Doomshape. To best understand the term Planet X and what it means to us, begins with the man who created it. American astronomer Percival Lowell coined Planet X in about 1905. It explains the existence of an unobserved planet by how it perturbs the orbit of an observable planet. It all began in 1894, when Percival, an independently wealthy man, founded the Lowell Observatory in Flagstaff, Arizona. His observations of the canals of Mars, making him the most influential popularizer of planetary science in America. Yet his real passion was always elsewhere for something big and elusive out in the far reaches of our solar system. European astronomers named it Neptune's Perturber, and as you shall soon see, this holds the key to understanding the centuries-old search for Planet X. Next, we'll see how that key was fashioned. But first, a brief word. I'm Marshall Masters, publisher of the Colburn Bible, the 21st Century Master Edition, which contains detailed accounts of previous Planet X flybys. This ancient wisdom text is divided into two parts. The first part is called the Egyptian text. It was penned approximately at the same time as the five books of Moses. When things appear dark, this passage from the Book of Manuscripts always inspires me to soldier on. Book of Manuscripts 310. In those days men will have the great book before them. Wisdom will be revealed. The few will be gathered for the stand. It is the hour of trial. The dauntless ones will survive. The stout-hearted will not go down to destruction. Wisdom is being revealed to you now with love, and you may wonder if there is a particular part of the passage for me, yes, there is. The dauntless ones will survive. The stout-hearted will not go down to destruction. I often repeat these words because I know they come from someone who lived and suffered through it and is sharing this wisdom with love. This is one of the many things that makes the Colburn Bible so precious to me, and I hope it can also help you. To learn more, please visit colburn.com. K O L B R I N dot com. Now, let's return to the centuries old search for Planet X. Throughout most of human history, Saturn has always been as far as the naked eye can see. That changed after the Dutch invented the telescope in 1608. And then on 13 March 1781, William Herschel discovered the planet Uranus using a telescope. In subsequent observations, astronomers found that Uranus has a perturber a large but unobservable object further out in space, capable of making orbital perturbations for Uranus. In other words, minor observable variations in a planet's orbit due to the gravitational influence of another celestial body. 
Using Uranus Observations Urbain Le Verrier and John Couch Adams independently calculated the exact coordinates for Uranus's perturber and submitted their calculations to Johann Gottfried Gall of the Berlin Observatory. Then, in September 1846, Neptune became the first planet to be discovered with mathematics. This is the Fraunhofer telescope Gall used to observe Neptune. Modest in size relative to present-day telescopes, the telescope William Herschel used to discover Uranus was the size of a small townhouse. Subsequent observations of Neptune revealed orbital perturbations as well. And with that, the search was on for what has since been known as Neptune's perturber. Unfortunately, the European astronomer search efforts languished for several decades, until an intrepid American reinvigorated the search. He was Percival Lowell, an independently wealthy man who founded the Lowell Observatory in Flagstaff, Arizona, in 1894 to search for Neptune's perturber. He never discovered Neptune's perturber, though he coined the term Planet X in 1905. In 1930, one of Lowell's talented young astronomers, Clyde Tombaugh, discovered Pluto. It was assumed to be Neptune's perturber. However, in 1978, James Christie discovered Charon, Pluto's largest moon, and proved that Pluto could never be Neptune's perturber because it is only 60% the size of Earth's moon. However, in 1940, astronomer Carlos Muñoz Ferrada announced the discovery of Planet X which he defined as a black star with a giant rocky planet often called Herculobus. Like Urbain Le Verrier and John Couch Adams, he used math to determine the coordinates for Neptune's perturber. The present-day technical use of Planet X describes it as the Nemesis mini-constellation. It is a brown dwarf star that is a companion to Sol and has three major planets and various satellites. Today, this is how many have observed Nemesis next to our Sun. Once you do that, you will know that Planet X is here and nothing can stop what is coming. To learn more, Please check out our other Planet X FAQs and visit our website at yowza.com. That's Y-O-W-U-S-A dot com. This is Marshall, and I'll catch you on the backside.